Hello everyone. Dr. Zia Tahit here. This video tutorial is vibration analysis of cantilever beam in ANSYS workbench. So model analysis of a cantilever beam for natural frequency and mode shape is performed. So that is a cantilever beam. One end is fixed, other end is free. Its length is 16 inches or 0.4064. Its width is 1 inch or 25.4 millimeter. Its depth is 0.125 inch or 3.175 millimeter. The modulus elasticity of steel beam is 210 meter pascal and its Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3. The density of the beam is 7850 kilogram per meter cube. The requirement for this is to determine natural frequency and mode shape for first three modes of vibration and then compare numerical results with analytical results. So here are steps for model analysis of cantilever beam. So first to start a model project, then add material, then select analysis type. In design modular geometry, need to sketch and then add material assignment, then mesh, and then in an analysis setting, need to set five, number of modes five, although three are in the question, but I'll explain later why five, and then need to get total information and then to check results and finally comparison with the results. The first step is to start a project and model. So this is ANSYS workbench. So here is model. Double click, click on model and and save the model. So I have saved it as C A N T for cantilever beam 3D. So that is now an analysis model analysis to start it in the project schematic and I have saved it. Next step in engineering data need to add material. So for this model analysis, linear elastic isotropic efficiency. So modules of elasticity and Poisson's ratio are required and then density is required. So once you will do all that, then you need to save material. So it's simple. Double click on engineering data. And then here a new material steel I have created. So for that material, here is the density and then isotropic elasticity. They are dragged to the material. The density is 7850 kilogram per meter cube, and then uh, Young's modulus is 210 gigapascal, and the Poisson ratio is 0.3. So that is a new material added as steel so need to save it and then close it so now new material in engineering data has been saved and i have closed that window next step in the geometry select analysis type basic geometry option solid bodies and analysis type is 3d so it is simple click on the geometry and then you will get properties of schematic a3 so here only click uh, solid bodies and then analysis type is 3D. Next step in geometry need to start design modular new design modular geometry and then do all that sketching. So here on the geometry right click and new design modular geometry and it will open a new window will open. So that is a design modular so sketch need to for this beam need to sketch its cross section with the unit as millimeter so first here in the design modeler units need to change into millimeter and then i want to sketch that cross section in xy plane so that is xy plane okay then in the sketching First setting, grid on, map on, 
then major grid sizing is 10 centimeter and then minor step to just leave it and then draw in draw a rectangle so that is a, a rectangle and then dimension general display here so then in general so that is h1 that is v2 so h1 is 25.4 millimeter and its depth is 3.175 millimeter so that is now sketch so i want to make it symmetrical i want to make it symmetrical about region so for that one i need to go to constrain symmetry and first select y axis okay and then these two sides it is metric about y axis and then x axis and these two sides so now the cross section is metric about origin so 25.4 millimeter is width 3.17 millimeter is is the depth so next is once i mention are given now need to change units to meter so units to meter and then extrude give it depth generate and then save model so here you can go extrude and then go into 3d and you can see that extrusion is given of one meter okay so it is 0 0.4064 in meters okay so now and then generate so now that is being generated so cross section at origin and then so that model has been created okay so generated and then need to save model so once it is being generated then need to save it and then close that design so now the geometry has been created and geometry is saved next step is in the model need to open model okay so that is here double click on model it will take some time to open so now the model has been opened this is and this is mechanical and next four five six and seven steps they will be in this window so the first one in the geometry need to go material and assign material and then change unit to the standard one so in the geometry here is the material which is like a part which is solid and material assignment here i have created that steel so that need to be assigned okay and then you can change units which units are the standard ones okay so units are standard or otherwise you can change units from here next step is mesh and for this case i'm using element size 2.5 millimeter and then generate so here the next is mesh click on mesh and here is the element size this is default so change it to 2.5 ds per 3 millimeter and then here in the mesh generate so now that mesh has been generated which is 2.5 into 10 to base per 3 or 2.5 millimeter the next step is pipe setup and in the model tab change analysis setting and maximum more to find set as five so analysis setting 
and here in the options maximum modes to find that are five so they are changed to five so next in the model environment sports and fixed sport need to apply so here in the model here are sports so fixed sport and i am going to apply fixed sport here so select face from here and then scoping method geometry selection apply so now you can see there is a fixed sport here next step in the solution need to add total deformation so this total deformation need to add to plot mod shapes otherwise if it is not being added so natural frequency will be calculated automatically so for that in the definition mod and need to add mod number and then duplicate so in the solution the solution deformation total so total deformation click on it and then here is a mod one so it can be changed from here so i am going to rename that as total deformation mod mod one okay so you need to then duplicate it so duplicate it for mod two and then need to change here mod 2 so that is for mod 1 here is z in the definition total information for mod 1 and then mod 2 so i have duplicated that uh, like five times so that is mod 2 that is mod 3 then that is mod 4 that is mod 5 the next step is solve so it's simple so in the solution just click solve and it will take some time to solve so now the solution is ready so next step in the results you need to find total deformation so total deformation and in the total deformation then as is showed undeformed model so in the results here you can see that the frequency first mode second mode third fourth mode frequencies are there and then this is first mode shape that is second that is third that is fourth and that is fifth so i can go here on the in the results here edges show undeformed model okay in a wireframe form or you can select that undeformed model so that is mod one okay so as a wireframe and that is mod one then that is mod two that is mod three so mod two is in yz plane which is required and so that is in mod one is in yz plane mod 2 also mod 3 is not in yz plane so mod 4 again is in yz plane so mod 3 is basically in xz plane so we are not going to consider so in yz plane first frequency is 16.25 the second one is 1 0 1.2 and then the third one is 282 and that is the third mode that is third mode okay so that is a sine wave plus and a quarter so that is a quarter wave mode 2 is a half three quarters wave okay so this is all now analysis results natural frequency mode shape is all done in the last need to compare results with analytical results mathematical equations or analytical uh, mathematical equations or analytical solution for this continuous beam 
uh, that is called using MATLAB and here are the that are the mod shapes and corresponding frequency so the first mod the frequency for the first mod is 16.06 hertz second mod is 100.6 third mod is 28 281.86 and the first mod is shown by a red line so here in yz plane so that is the first mode okay and corresponding natural frequency is 16.125 so it is very much similar to like same as the, the first mode natural frequency calculated using analytical solution then the blue color is the second it is the three quarter waves and here the second one is very much similar to that three quarter waves okay and its corresponding frequency is 101.2 and it is 100.65 so that abacus uh, sorry ncc uh, ansys workbench that gives slightly different result and the third mode shape is five quarters or one full wave and a quarter and corresponding frequency is 281.86 so here for the third mode which is actually in four, uh, fourth mode in ansys which is very much similar and its corresponding natural frequency is 281 282.81 so these natural frequencies calculated through ansys they are slightly higher but uh, the solution can converge by increasing number of elements or by decreasing element size. So this is all modeling and then comparison with analytical result. So uh, ANSYS workbench calculations so they are very close to analytical results with an error of less than one percent so in the end summary so for model analysis of cantilever beam you need to start model analysis from here and then the next one you need to add engineering data next one you need to add uh, create geometry and geometry in this case is uh, so first basic geometry you need to use solid bodies and analysis type is 3d so in the material for model analysis density and mechanical properties modulus of elasticity and poisson ratio are required and then here in the design modeler need to sketch add dimension and then extrude so now next four steps for next four step a new window will open that is ANSYS mechanical so that is the model fourth step then is the model fifth then the solution and then finally results so need to then assign material and then in the mesh using appropriate element size need to generate mesh and the model analysis need to uh, add how many more frequencies are required need to add boundary condition and finally to get more shape deformation total is required so thank you very much for watching i hope you find this video helpful so you can watch other videos on ansys structural analysis i have nine videos on ANSYS structural analysis and then I have eight videos here on ANSYS thermal analysis.